final of the men's 200 backstroke. Swimming in lane number one, third in the 200 fly, a day ago from the University of Louisville, Nicholas Albiero. A bronze medalist in the 200 back at World University Games in two from Quest Swimming, Clark Beach. Bronze in the 200 back at NCAAs this year from California Aquatics in three, Bryce Meffer. Your World University Games 200 backstroke champion in four from Longhorn Aquatics, Austin Katz. 11th in the 200 back a year ago in five from Aggie Swim Club, Shane Cassis. Eighth in the 200 back at NCAAs this year from Sun Devil Swimming in six, Zachary Pote. Your Junior Pan Packs champion in the 200 back in seven from the Mason Manta Rays, Carson Foster. In lane eight, sixth in the 200 back in Bloomington Tier Pro Series from Carmel Swim Club, Wyatt Davis. Championship final of the men's 200 backstroke. Austin Katz in lane number four has been as fast as a 155.57 this year, which was the fifth fastest time, or is the fifth fastest time in the world in 2019. Won that 200 back at the World University Games. Been second at NCAAs in the 200 backstroke. Right now, Shane Katz is in the lead 27-12 for the Aggie in lane number five. He was 157.09, a personal best time for him. Already halfway through, and it's quickly becoming a two-man race in the middle of the pool. Austin Katz taking over the lead, 56.35 at the 100-meter mark. About four tenths of a second faster than he was in the prelims. We'll see if he can get under that personal best time of 155.57. Definitely on pace to threaten. 56.41 for Kansas in five. More than a second, about 1.3 seconds faster than he was in the prelims. We'll see how much speed he has left in this final 50. Kansas in the lead, 29.69. On that third 50, 126, 10, 18 hundredths of a second separating the top two as they both try to become Phillips 66 national champions. A very tight race here for the national championship as we hit the final 25 meters between Cassis and Katz in the middle of the pool. Cassis and Katz both heading under the flags. Anybody's race, anybody's championship, who's it gonna be? 155-72, your Phillips 66 national champion is Austin Katz in lane number four. Clark Beach with a 157-14, finishing in third place. Katz with a 155-79, best time by a long way. Finishing in second place, but your Phillips 66 national champion with a 155.72 from Longhorn Aquatics. That's Austin Katz.
Thanks, Steve. Well, Austin, adding another accomplishment to your resume, this time a national title. How confident were you in that final length that you could come away with the win? Uh, to be honest, not really at all. Um, I slept pretty bad at the start. And I was like, my first thought was, oh, no. But you know, just kind of focus on the race, doing my own thing, and yeah, it was really good. There's obviously a great legacy for backstroke in the United States. You want to be a part of that. How important a piece of the puzzle is this national title for you as you look ahead? Um, I, I mean, I think it's the most ex like important part of the the quad. They're setting up before the Olympic trials, and. So I'm really out of breath. <laughs> There's a lot of momentum to be gained from these national championships. Where do you hope this momentum takes you in swimming in the long run? I mean, it's every swimmer's goal to make the Olympics. So I would say, yeah, probably the Olympics. <laughs> That's a great goal to have. We hope to see you there. Congratulations. Thank you.